Preacher here. Join me for a moment of devotion. Preacher here, and this is a moment of devotion. In Numbers 6, 24 through 26 says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. This verse is a benediction, which is a prayer or a blessing which promotes well-being. In the overflow of our gratitude, we can bless others and pray for their awakened understanding of goodness, peace, and grace available from God. Blessings were a common practice in the scriptures. Benedictions are also known in some Christian traditions today. The power of sharing a blessing can be used in our personal lives as well. You don't have to have to get creative with your benediction if you aren't inspired to do so. You can use ones found in scripture and adopt them for your own personal use. Today's verse is a good example. It is a practical way to ask for God's divine favor to rest on others. We can join with the heart of God to see the goodness already available. You know, whenever I want to pray a prayer like that, whenever I want to pray a, a, a benediction and, and to try to lift people up and, and to help them out, to encourage them, I pray from the heart. I don't look to get extra creative to make noise and, and sound like gongs. I look for a prayer that comes from the heart, something that is truthful and well-meaning, something that is truly addressing God. And I'll tell you what, when you pray like that, God hears your prayer every time. And He will always answer according to His will. Yes, no, not right now, but He will answer you. And we have to trust that He knows best. So even if you only do it in your heart and mind, release a benediction and a blessing over someone today, especially if you see someone struggling. Say a prayer for them. You don't have to go let them know. God knows. Anyway, give me a victory in Jesus in the comments. Like and subscribe if you haven't, and always keep it shiny side up. Be blessed. Thank you.